Hi everyone, Karen here from Holistic Essentials Therapy and Consulting, bringing to you this week's energy forecast and insights for Monday the 28th of November through until Sunday the 3rd of November 2024. We really are, time is speeding up, we're really getting to the pointy end of the year. It just feels like at this end of the year, this time in the year, that there's this feeling that we have inside of ourselves that we're running out of time. Something that I love to use is I have more than enough time to do all that I need to do or there is more than enough time to do all that I want and need to do. And so this sends a great message to your mental mind that may be feeling very overactive at this time. Also sends a message to your nervous system. And you know, time is an experience that we have in our body. So if you can send that message to yourself that you have more than enough time to do all that you need to do, then space opens up not only within you, but also around you. As we move into this week ahead, we have Venus and or Venus in Sagittarius. And this is really asking us to look towards our relationships. So this combination inspires action. It's calling for action. You'll feel empowered to make decisions and the intuitive guidance will come to you as to where you need to place that attention, where you need to have a conversation, where you need to take action, where you need to make some decisions. And then you'll have that empowered feeling to follow through with that because often our intuition is always speaking to us, our higher self, our soul, the universe, we're always receiving guidance, but we don't always take action on that. You know, we fall into fear or indecision or, you know, we worry about what the response will be or what we will receive in return. And so this will be an alignment where you will feel inspired to take action. We also have Mercury and Uranus their energies are influencing us this week again their energy will influence us to take inspired action and if you are feeling overly active in your mind so you're caught up in your headspace you're caught up in a loop of what you're fearing for the future perhaps you're running over the past or there is this there is this feeling of kind of uncertainty and anxiety and so if you are feeling that then it's really important to give yourself some space now that may be meditation it may be taking yourself off to your sacred nook having a mindful tea or a cacao or it might be getting out in nature and this will really support you in being able to take a breath, to feel that spaciousness, to feel that reconnectiveness also to yourself. Because when we are so busy in our heads uh, with all the things, and there are a lot of things, when that happens to us, we disconnect from our intuition. We disconnect from that higher guidance, from our higher self, from the universe, from your soul. This week we have coming up the new moon in Scorpio and this is occurring on the 1st of November which gives us the numerology of 111. This is a high vibrational angelic number and this is a power manifesting day also. So new moons are powerful for setting intentions, for manifesting, for creating, for planting seeds. And this is amplified by the angelic vibrational frequency of the number 111. And so this is also bringing in a harmonious alignment as well. It brings in balance and harmony to your body, mind and soul. 
And we are also reminded on this particular day and under this new moon that we're not alone. There are incredible beings of light, the angelic realm, our star brothers and sisters, your loved ones in spirit, the your guides and the undeniable attention and never ending attention of the divine source consciousness. During this new moon, we also have Mars and Pluto and Uranus that are adding to the mix. And this could be exacerbating any feelings of uncertainty or, or um, anxiety or frustration that you may be feeling. So be sure to ground yourself as we move into this week ahead as we as the build up to the new moon and the energy of the new moon builds and as we are contemplating preparing for the holiday season to be coming very very soon it's important to listen to your emotions what are your emotions trying to tell you Acknowledge and honor exactly how you feel in this moment. And can you allow yourself space to do that and to sit and be present with whatever your emotions may be without trying to resolve or fix or change something. And so this is where that deep surrender and acceptance comes in. Accepting the things that you cannot change, asking for the courage to change the things that you can and asking for the wisdom so that you may know the difference between those. Saturn, the Lord of Karma, is also present. It's a big energetic week, actually. Now, Saturn is coming out. So retrograde, Saturn retrograde is ending and Saturn is preparing to go direct. And as Saturn is the Lord of Karma, also known as our master teacher. It's a great opportunity during the new moon to have some reflective time to reflect on potentially what has been brought to the surface for yourself. What situations have you noticed? What patterns, what beliefs have you become aware of? and allow yourself to be open to receive the gift that Saturn going direct offers us because this is when it will come to the forefront of your intuition of your heart your mind of a deep understanding of particular situations so I hope that that prepares you for the week ahead what other energies do we need to be aware with or can we work with in the week ahead thank you thank you Shambhala initiations. I highly recommend reading the Celestine Prophecy. It's been around for quite some time. I think I read it about 20 years ago. I, I feel like that teaching is timeless. The insights are timeless and we can learn so much from that. Retreating to recharge, trusting in the process and Dharma. And this is listening to the needs of your emotions and your body and your mind if you are feeling you know when we get to this time of the year we start to feel burnt out we start to feel really tired and when we're when we're tired when we're lacking in energy that's when that overwhelm can really kick in and we can begin to spiral and so a way to support yourself to prevent a spiral is to listen, set, set time aside to tune in. And that may be just going into the stillness within, connecting in with your heart, grounding into the heart chamber, the core crystal of Mother Earth, getting out in nature, taking time out to, and whatever that is for you, you know what your sacred 
practice is, a practice that supports your well-being and it is different for everyone. So ask yourself, how do you need additional support in this week ahead? Schedule it in, make time for it, make your needs a priority. And trusting in the process, we don't always, we don't, we don't have access to the bigger picture. Our soul does, source consciousness does. We don't always have the insight or the understanding of the why for whatever is occurring. So trust that there is a bigger picture for yourself and for humanity. And it's okay not to have all of the answers right now. And the more that you can nurture and support yourself, the more you will actually open yourself up to receive that intuitive guidance, those insights, to have those aha moments. Our beautiful hearts. How can we support our hearts in this week ahead? Mm, birthing a new age. I love this. Birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. This is timely also with the new moon. With the energies that we have around this new moon in Scorpio with the planetary influences, this is actually a powerful time for creating or recreating. So if you do identify, self-identify something in your life that needs changing, then the energies this week will support you in making those positive changes. But we don't know what to change if we first don't identify that something isn't working. So you have all of the support that you need this week to put and implement changes in ways that will serve your best and highest good. And remembering that every day is a new day. Every day is a new day and we have the opportunity to begin anew every day. So we can be making changes, we can be creating something new every single day. What else we can work with for this week ahead? Mary Magdalene has come up for me. Oh, Mary Magdalene. Carly, same color card. Interesting. So we have Mary Magdalene, because I felt her presence come in, and we have Carly. And of course, Carly is all about change, breaking down the illusions. Um, she's here to support us and guide us through the depths of our shadow, through the depths of uncertainty. Um, she really comes in and shakes shit up. <laughs> So it's not a bad thing, it's a positive thing. So work with the energy of Kali, the presence of Kali this week to support you in identifying what needs to change and allow her strength and her presence to support you in having the courage and the commitment to make those changes. And Mary Magdalene is bringing in her divine unconditional love to, and her grace to support you. So she's softening, Mary Magdalene is softening the, the uncertainty or the uncomfortableness that we can often feel when we are faced with change or when we're making a decision to change. So too, working with Carly and Mary Magdalene for this week ahead, she came in very strongly. They both wanted to support you. I'm very excited to share with you that two beautiful women have already signed up to my Illuminate Soul, a thriving woman retreat for May next year in Bali, in Ubud. And there are only six remaining places. If this is something that calls to you, if you feel drawn, you get that little tingle, you feel that intuitive nudge or you want to know more, please reach out. I'm more than happy to have a discussion with you about that. As always, please be kind and gentle with yourself and others. Do something to nurture yourself and in nurturing yourself, 
spend time with Mother Earth in nature, appreciating the beauty, having thankfulness and gratitude for who you are, for your life, for where you are in your life. With the influence of Saturn this week, there are nuggets of gold in whatever it is that you're going through. And I hope that you heed the call of your heart and your soul to support yourself in whatever way you are being guided to. Namaste, blessed be.